Okay, here we go. We are live, you guys. It's Friday. It's 8.30 Central Time, so you know that means it's time for Friday Night Live. Um, I have a guest on with me tonight. This is Miss Llewellyn of Worn to Whimsy. You can see her on Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, hey, girl, how are you? I'm doing good, and I'm so glad to be here tonight. I'm really excited. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. In just a few minutes, when more people start popping on, I'm going to have you kind of introduce yourself and tell everybody where you are um, and a little bit about what you do. But guys, as you pop on, throw out some hearts for Miss Llewellyn, and I will be happy to take some of those hearts and thumbs ups too. Um, I think I missed last weekend. I cannot remember what was last weekend, or maybe it was the weekend before. Um, every week is running together as the journal is going to be out seven days from right now. Um, and Llewellyn happens to be one of our featured artists who will be in the magazine. So um, Llewellyn is a furniture and canvas artist and she is one of our featured artists. And actually here in about 20 minutes, if you click and go to the turquoisirisjournal.com, you're gonna get a sneak peek of my article and my feature as well as Miss Llewellyn's. So I'm so thrilled to have her. Um, and then in the next few weeks, we'll actually be doing a podcast and all kinds of fun things. Are you all ready for this Llewellyn? I am, I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I see some, some familiar faces popping on and hey bub, how are you? Uh, Gavin says, Warren to Whimsy, I've seen your work before and paint real stuff on furniture. She does. She paints Aww. real stuff, Gavin. And Gavin's my 11-year-old friend who works his tail off painting. Yeah, um, he sure does. Hi, Gavin. Sure. <laughs> uh, Llewellyn, go ahead and tell everybody where you are and a little bit about what you do. Okay. Um, my name is Llewellyn, and I'm the owner and artist at Worn to Whimsy. Um, I have been painting furniture for about it's six years now, so I've hit the six-year mark with that. And I started out really basic and have slowly worked my way up to doing more of the scenes on the furniture and um, and slowly getting into canvas, too. So it all kind of just rolled on until till I've hit this point where we're at. Yeah. And <laughs> so that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Nothing basic about Llewellyn's work, you guys. And you're getting ready to see here in just a few minutes. But like I said, I'm not sure how much she'll actually get painted tonight. Um, but. She's featured in the journal. You're not going to want to miss her feature whatsoever. This piece that she's put out is super beautiful. Um, she has, um, she's going to be in the podcast coming up. And of course, she's here with us tonight. You can see her on Facebook at Warren to Whimsy, on Instagram at Warren to Whimsy. Um, I've shared her work on my page and um, she's a mom of two and she just hustle, hustle, hustles and puts all of that most beautiful work out. Um, everybody's saying hello. If you have any questions, you guys, for Llewellyn, we would love that. Um, she's here to answer any questions. And of course, you know, you guys know me. I'm an open book. In just a few minutes, if you guys will click over to the journal, you'll be able to get a sneak peek of three of our featured articles that are going to be out. So um, if you tuned in last night, I started this piece of furniture, which right now looks like a crazy crazy little mess, right? It looks like maybe I just scribble scrabbled, but I'm actually using my own painting you all tonight as my own inspiration. So I've got these deep colors down here with, with the fluorescence as well. Uh, actually I actually have two of them. And so that's what I'm going to be working on tonight. I've got, I worked on this and then I did a little bit more today, uh, but I want this look on this piece so it's kind of shaped the same and mm -hmm. I think it'll be perfect for that I think the size was perfect this is one I didn't sell and so I just decided to go for it so I'm going to start in tonight with shades of blue and work my way towards the middle and then once I get the base done I will load it up in the center with flowers that are all which way and wrap it around the sides Llewellyn what are you working on tonight well, um, so actually the dresser that I'm working on, I worked on it live on my page earlier and I was doing more of an abstract beach. So I think I'm gonna do that version on canvas. So I'm kind of doing the opposite. I'm doing it first on the dresser and then I'm gonna do it on canvas um, just to kind of work on my technique a little bit before I finish the piece and make sure, make sure I've got it all, you know, I wanna get it perfect. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Um, I saw this and I was like, whoa, I can't believe I missed her painting that live. Oh, the which one? The beach one? 
I'm not sure if he's referring to you or I, but that was Mr. Gavin. Um, ah, so I probably. Was, I probably posted a little <laughs> so who knows? Um, probably, yes. <laughs> So we're just going to jump right into it, you all. I hope you've had a wonderful Friday. I know I have. Um, hi, Monica. And um, Robert said, is that a painting of Dion in the background? It is. That's my turquoise iris lady. <laughs> I didn't even see it. It's right back there. It's behind. <laughs> oh, there it is, you guys. Yeah. Is that... I gotta see which way to move it. There she I, is. She's so cute. I'm blushing. I'm like, look at that. She made me so skinny. I didn't even pay her. <laughs> I didn't even pay her. You're I so didn't funny. even have to pay her for that. She made me all skinny. That's how I roll. No, that's what it looked like to me. So <laughs> I love it. Gavin said you paint realism. You have a realism style, he said. <laughs> yes, more like the photo realism for sure. That's funny. My sister and I were talking about that today. The, that, I'm that sure term. it's real that my legs are that skinny too. <laughs> that's what, you know, I paint what I see. <laughs> uh -huh. That's true. I'm going to go with that idea. I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, Monica. Not as skinny as that, those legs are, but I was so on. She asked if she could do it, and I was like, "Sure," but I'm blushing that you would even do that. Oh, it's so I, I think it looks. Yeah, that's what I see when you stand in front of the camera. So, <laughs> well, since you haven't met me in person, I'll go ahead and let you think that. <laughs> I'm sorry, nobody <laughs> sees my lower half much either. <laughs> So, Llewellyn, tell us a little bit about, like, I was telling everybody earlier that I'm featuring you in the magazine, the new journal, the first issue, and yes. they'll be able to get a sneak peek of that here in just a few minutes on the journal website. But tell everybody a little bit about what you do. Like, what's a normal week look like for you, a mom of two? Um, tell everybody what you're up to and what you do business-wise, too. Um, so, a normal week is mostly kids, you know. <laughs> kids and the house and the cleaning. And I try and fit my business in at least two hours a day. So I probably paint one to two hours a day, every single day. Um, like I love doing it. So it's really hard for me to take a day off, which is not always fun for the rest of the family, but it's fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, my, I don't know, what would a day look like? Lately, it's been a lot of homeschooling. It's been a lot of homeschooling. Your daughters are six and 12? Uh, six and 11. Yep. So I've got a sixth grader and then Miss Maddie is the first grader. And they're both at home every day, right? Yep. Yep. We are at home right now. Um, I live in the state of Washington. So we're currently doing like the learning from home, which um, I was homeschooled as a kid for a while. So now. Yeah, I was. I And so now I really like have begun to understand my mother <laughs> Aww. a little more. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or bad, but yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just understand more of probably what I put her through, you know? <laughs> yeah, because even without, I don't know if it would be harder now or harder than when you were younger, but um, I know you're, you're much younger than me, but it wasn't like you were doing all of your work on the computer like your girls are now. Yeah, no, it was all hands on. And I think that's the toughest part for especially the youngest. My oldest, though, I mean, honestly, she's doing great. She just gets online and she does it. She's always been like that in school. Um, but, you know, when you've got a first grader, that's where it gets hard, I think. Oh, totally different scenario. They're still learning how to use the technology, um, let alone do schoolwork on it and talk with their teachers and re report in and submit and all the things you guys are having to do. Um, yeah. And then you also are a content creator. I am for Dixie Bell paint. Yeah. Okay. So what's that look like for you? What do you do with that? Um, with that, I, I have to do a certain amount of projects and finish a certain amount of projects per month and send them in as content. And then they send you paint. So, and they also like feature you and post on their page with all their followers. So it works out good. And, uh, do, you, and it, do you go on their page as well? I do. I'll be live on there on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's always a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Every week, every Sunday? No, um, I just kind of 
they're they have brand ambassadors as well. They kind of have like a tier system, you know, and the higher the brand ambassadors, they get to pick first. And then we kind of just fill in. Okay. As That's content nice. creators. Yeah. So I can do lives, but I don't have to um, every month. So some months I'll take a break. So it's going to be a busy weekend for Miss Llewellyn at Warned Away. I know. This is a crazy week. I started that piece and I was like, I'm going to do it all live. <laughs> and then I look back and I'm like, I'm going to do it all live. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what am I thinking? I spoke a little too soon. But that's okay. I'm going to do it all live. <laughs> awesome. You guys, if you're just popping on, I'm using my own painting as my inspiration. So I'm wanting the front of my wardrobe to look like this, but in a much larger scale we've got to come up with a name for it um and then Llewellyn has been working on a dresser that she's painting live on her own page and now she's trying to actually put that onto a canvas and kind of get that same look going um, oh yeah I, I do want to tell you I just got a text from my web designer and she said the little posts like they're, they're like little sneak peek blurbs are now on the journal right now at this moment. So if you, I don't want you to leave, but when you were done here, if you go to the Turk of Journal dot com, you will get to see a sneak peek of three of our featured and Llewellyn is one of our features um, as well as myself and then Chair Whimsy, Wendy Conklin of Chair Whimsy. You've all seen those chairs. They're like, oh my Amazing. God, give me those chairs. Um, yeah. yeah. And I interviewed Wendy this week and her podcast will come out in a couple of weeks, but I interviewed her and it's so inspiring to know her story and how she came up with those gorgeous chairs and really how that business has just taken off for her because of her uh, design aesthetic. So, oh, are you coming up with names for this piece? Oh, Into the Garden, Wild Whimsy. Gavin, keep it coming, buddy. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love that. And so you're using, uh, what kind of paint are you using? Are you doing acrylics? I am just using acrylics. I have them all blobbed out on my little wet palette down here. And then I just mix them on this plate if I need to mix them or, you know, use them straight from. I always do, um, this is like my base coat. So okay. I'm just kind of beginning. Here's my little crazy <laughs> where I squeeze all my paints onto and kind of just take from it. Um, and then I mix them on here so I don't make my palette a mess every single time. But this is I, my first coat. So I, it changes a lot with the second coat, you know, and so on. I got it, girl. And I am using DIY paint for my furniture. Uh, it's, of course, the paint that I always use. But on the bottom, for those of you that missed it, I'm going to have you take a peek down at the bottom because I know it's looking like a hot mess right now. Um, but... The center area is where the, the flowers are going to start. And um, I have fluorescent orange and fluorescent pink. And guys, I used that mop brush, the new Triple Cyrus Pro mop brush. And um, I actually got this on the website yesterday. So they're now available. And from what I understand, girl, the mop brush. Should I try it right now? Oh my gosh. Well, it's almost sold out. Is like, it really? <laughs> yeah. Like it's. I showed it to some people and they were like, Ooh, I want that. <laughs> here's why. Here's why it works so well on my piece of furniture. I was using the acrylics, excuse me, the fluorescents and the fluorescents are kind of sheared, you know, they're, they're a little bit more uh, watered down. Uh -huh. So I was applying it because the bristles are so soft and thin, not like our actual furniture brushes. I wasn't pulling the paint off and I learned something kind of new. So I was able to really kind of dig this mop brush into my fluorescence and rub that color into my DIY and create like this texture without pulling off the DIY. So I'm going to use this a lot more on my furniture, just so you guys know. It is a mop brush. It's a one inch Iris Pro. It's the turquoise and it's on my website now. I got one because she sent me one. I got one. <laughs> I was using the other, which one? This one as well. I love this one. This is, which one is this? Is that the angle shader? Yes. Yep. And it's from the Pro Series as well. And that's basically what I did this whole painting with, was the mop brush and the angle shader. That's what I did the background with the mop. And then I used the angle shader to pretty well do all of my flowers. 
these new ones that you've been doing are so bright and pretty. They're some of my favorites. I'm Thank serious. You. Thank I you. Like drooling over them. <laughs> Thank you. I am, um, you know, I so far I've painted all of them outside. And I'm just going to go ahead and give credit to nature because I feel inspired. Inspiring. For sure. Totally inspired by it. Okay. So you guys, you know, I'm just working on the base coat. So nobody, nobody like laugh at me right now. Okay. Be, That's how I feel. Y'all be nice because we're just getting a base coat on. I got to, I got to double up and layer because there's basically three coats on the bottom. And then I've got to get all my pretty blues up here before I can come in with a splash of color all around the mid, the middle of it. Hi, everybody. I see people popping on. And I'm so excited. Gavin says brushes are game changers. Oh, for sure. Yes. Thank you. Totally. Thank you, Rob. Um, I was also going to ask you a few questions, Miss Llewellyn. Sure. How has your evenings or your family life changed now that you are doing so much online versus what it was before? Um. Okay, what I mean is, what's Nick think? He's over here on the couch. So <laughs> he's like, why are you looking at me? She just said, what does Nick think? Um, probably less dinners get made by me. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Because, you know, you go online late afternoon or evening. You take like an hour to set up. What are you jealous of? Oh, yeah, he misses all my attention. He used oh. to have it all. <laughs> You're going to have to stay jealous. <laughs> yeah, I get that, Nick. I don't think you're alone in that. I think that's one of the reasons I finally had Matt join me is because I, for one, felt so guilty. And two, I felt like he was bored out of his mind because the boys don't need him anymore. There's nothing for him to do. Abby's in bed by now. So I was like, you want to sit in here with me and, you know, <laughs> help me? So I know he's been helping you with editing your videos, right? Yes, he's amazing at that. He's really, he's actually really good at it. <laughs> he's, he's smirking. <laughs> he's, he is really, I shouldn't compliment him too much or else it'll go to his head. But we don't want him to get, you know, too, too happy about this. But he is, he's really good at editing my videos. <laughs> well, they're really good, Nick. So you are doing a great job. And um, all of, all of us get to be the beneficiary of that when you put out a great new video. So thank you for that. Thank you. Yep. He's, saying, he's saying thanks over there. I heard him. <laughs> I yeah. didn't know if he could. Yep, I can. Um, so you guys, I'm still just putting on shades of blue in various pattern right now. Um, Llewellyn is also in my Empowered by Design group, my one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so I've had the honor of spending the last few months really getting to know her better, getting to know the girls and her family and everything. Um, and I think what I have found is more than she's just precious, but she truly is so gifted and so humble. I'm not really sure if her humble is higher, <laughs> her humble card or her talent card. Oh, thank you, Dion. See, that like by watching, um, very. I don't. She's cutting out a little bit. I don't know if it's only on my end. Okay, are we okay? You're back. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear me either. I don't know what happened. I hope that doesn't happen again. But it, we both just disappeared. Oh, it just, Nick says your picture froze. Was I still moving? Yes. Oh, I'm still there, but you're gone. <laughs> I'll just take over. <laughs> well, whatever we have to do. But what's funny is I was gone on mine as well. You we, we, you and I were both gone on mine. Oh, weird. I like this blending brush. I just need to get, like, I'm mixing my colors a little too much on this painting. So I'm going to grab a palette brush. Nice. Because that's what I'm doing on my dresser is I was actually using a palette knife on it. Um, and I actually have these really cool ones. These were my mom's in college. So they're like, they're really that's, old. <laughs> that's so cool. See, guys, you get good palette knives and they never, ever, ever wear out. Um, so true. Gavin said, you had a funny frozen face, but you still looked pretty. Don't worry. 
that's like when you go like today after you're live and it chooses the thumbnail and it's always just the worst thumbnail. Like, <laughs> and my face is frozen like this. Oh, that's what I'm doing today. Like oh. that is what I'm doing. <laughs> I couldn't even, I like looked at her. I'm like, hi, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Gosh, it's terrible. I always, as soon as I get off of a live, you guys, I pop on over and I immediately jump over to check my thumbnail and edit it if I can. Immediately. You gotta. You got <laughs> I learned the hard way. You got okay. So I'm going to move my paintings out of the way and work on this section over here. Mine today was one of my best, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm struggling with the mirror because I'm trying not to get a reflection in the mirror. So I apologize if we're not centered, but I'm actually trying to stay out of the way. You can see that I'm leaving all of this open because this is when I'm going to splash it full of green vines and load it up full of flowers that are spraying up and then dripping down. This piece is going to be amazing, Dion. I hope so. Debbie Strait said she's using a wet palette. There is water in the bottom to keep the paint moist. You cover it with the lid that comes with it when you're not in use. That way your paint is always ready for the day after day. It saves yes, a lot yes. of paint waste. Um, you know what? I need to get one of those because I don't own one of those, Llewellyn. You, yeah, you should. It's just a little tray. Oh, yeah. Sometimes my paint gets a little smelly, though. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> I can see that happening as well. Sometimes the paint that I have in my little water bottles, when I water down my, my acrylics, sometimes it gets stinky and I just assume it's just something in the water, you know? Yeah, I think that might be the same with us because I know our water's not great anyway, so. Same here. Same there. So what else has changed? Like. Like, have you been missing such things as, you know, birthday parties, dinner parties? Nothing um, no, I, I uh, make sure to make time for all of that. You know, I, and with this, um, I started because I was at home with the kids and I wanted to be able to do something where I could work around stuff, you know, and not be on this crazy schedule at work all the time. Yeah. So it, it has been working in my favor for years and I'm going to continue to make it work <laughs> in my favor as long as I can. Yeah, no kidding. That was always important for me. And that was a big driving force of why I did what I did and work so hard is because I did not, um, I didn't want to miss the boys stuff. I just wanted to be home. Not because I wanted to be PT mom, PTA mom. That was not why. <laughs> not my GM either. Are you sure? It, I'm, I'm, I'm positive. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Um, same same yeah. I'm, I'll let the kids be at school <laughs> I don't need to be there <laughs> so tell us a little bit Llewellyn um, like I said you guys she's featured in this first issue of journal magazine she's on there right now as a little sneak peek you guys could click over to the journal and see what I'm talking about um, there's just a little little sneak peek um, but what was your did you work before the six years that you've been painting for this like Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. I, I worked all the way up until, well, until this really started. So, yep. I worked at Lowe's for a while in the paint department and I'm surprised, surprised. I mixed paint. That's um, awesome. Yeah. I actually liked it. I think I loved the people that I worked with. That was probably the best part of it. And what else? I worked in a coffee shop. I worked at the bakery. Like I worked with kids for a long time as a preschool teacher. Uh -huh. um, I was kind of all over the place because, you know, I never found something that I absolutely loved. I totally agree. So with you saying that, did you ever go to art school? No, I went to YouTube school though. Hey. <laughs> the past year I've been taking YouTube school. Yes. I love that. Um, so you did not get to ever take an art class. This just well, I, I did take like, um, I took a few of those, like you learn the color wheel and that was super helpful in college. It was like art, like the very first art class. That's what I took in college. It's like art one oh one or 
95 or something. I went to community college. So it was just, I think it was yes. art 101. Yeah. But that's, that's what I took. And um, I just, you know, I did a few things, but they weren't very exciting. <laughs> and I don't know if I would show anybody them. Actually, I think I posted one of my old paintings in the Creative you Connection. Did. You did. Yeah. Yep. Not, those are always fun to look at, you guys. Have you seen my very first acrylic painting? Let me get it for you. Oh, you've got it right there. I keep them here in my studio as a reminder. Oh, that's something I don't know if I dare to do all the time. <laughs> well, I boxed them up when I was 20, when I was 30, and put them back up in the attic and thought, I will never look at these again because, for one, one's acrylic and one's oil. I didn't really know what the difference was, but I remember thinking, they can't be too hard. So this lovely little thing, I don't, I, I don't know, Llewellyn, I, I don't. That looks like something I would have painted. But for sure. It's got a pretty blue background. It does. It's got some pretty colors on there. And my first oil, it's, it's just looks just like yours. Yes. It's not bad. <laughs> it looks, looks just like yours. So um, that was my first oil and there was a reflection, you guys, but I keep them right here in this cabinet as a uh, reminder. I have my first palette knife painting, my first watercolor, um, all of my first, my first oil there, my first um, encaustic, my first resin, just to, you know, as a reminder. So where you come. That's awesome. That's actually a really good idea. Uh, I have thrown all mine out. <laughs> so I don't have any reminders. My sister has my one reminder. She keeps, she has, my niece is here tonight, but yeah, my sister has my one reminder painting and that's, that's, that's enough. <laughs> I, yeah, the owl painting. I don't need to see it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, Llewellyn, there were years that I put that in a cabinet and I never looked at it. I um, get it. I get it. I think later, just now that I am, I just, I feel like it's a really good reminder. It's also a really good teaching tool for me to uh, just show people that I didn't like it. I realized it was hard. I put it up. I went through all of the emotions of you are terrible. You're going to need some professional art help. You cannot do this on your own. Um, yeah. And put it, put it up for years before I would look at it again. I, everybody, yeah, everybody. I feel like you have to kind of cycle through that at some point. <laughs> Absolutely. Or it's completely normal. Not, maybe not everybody, but I feel like it's normal. You know, I was like, yep, I am not destined to ever go anywhere with art. My mom was an artist. My grandmother is a watercolor artist. And I was like, I'm not going any further um, than just doing these little owls. That was my. I mean, what kind of what kind of artwork your grandmother and your mother did? You said your grandmother was a watercolor artist. What did she do? OK, you ready? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well. So um, my grandmother does. Up, oh, Dion's paused again. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know if the rest of you can see it. My grandmother does um, these amazing landscapes right here. So this is the watercolor she does. And you're back. I'm back. I heard you, but I'm, did, yeah. You couldn't see it. <laughs> oh, that's so wonderful. That's so intricate. Like so many details. Oh, I know. And I, I am like, I don't even know how. Watercolor art is very hard for me. So I can have some fun with some really loose flowers or something, but yeah, I can't, I can't do anything like that. Not yet. <laughs> that takes, and she didn't start until she, after her kids were grown. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it's almost like, you know, I started a little bit later, discovered my passion a little later and she did too. Um, so that's okay too. You know, I feel like that happens to a lot of people too. Is she, is she still alive, Llewellyn? Yes. Sometimes she watches. <laughs> ah, that was getting me yeah. to say, does she know oh, what you're doing? That's what oh, I yes. know. She knows. She's super supportive of it, too. She's such a sweet lady. Um, she loves, always tells me how much she loves what I'm doing. So she's there for all of it. That's awesome. And then your mother, what did she like to paint? Um, She was an oil painter. So she would paint. Her, like, biggest thing I think that she ever painted was she really liked to do old cars. 
um, and she would capture the chrome and the rust and like the shine on the bright painted ones or like the bright, not bright painted ones, but you know, the sun reflection, the reflections on the old cars. So like, that was her thing. She was really good at it too. I would love to see that. That sounds right up our alley. Those of us that work on old pieces of furniture and stuff. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, some of them are really cool. I don't know if they even have any of I'd have to ask her where all that went. That's a good, good thing. Good thing to make mama do. Look it up. Yeah. We'll make mom find it. I don't know if they're still around. That would be so sad. I know she sold a few. Um, but she was like an art major in college, so. Well, I love that you have her palette knives. I think that's so special. Um, the, the palette knives I have, let me show you. Yes, please. Those are some I'm going to need to get to. Well, these are not my new ones, sister. These, oh, okay. These, these are the ones that came in that old box that Debbie bought me from France. Um. So this is in that antique set that we found and... Um, she gave it to me as a gift and it's flat, which I'm not going to use it because it has magic powers. I assume it's a magic wand and I'm not quite ready for magic. Okay. I'm pretty sure mine are too, because they let me do cool stuff. If it's magic, <laughs> you can do cool stuff with it. I know. I'm like, Ooh, I'm not quite ready for magic, but it came in that <laughs> gift art set and I leave it out there on the shelf also as a reminder. Um, I don't know, more inspiration than maybe as a reminder. Oh, for sure. I love that art set that you got. It's adorable. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And then, um, my new ones, of course, you do need to get some of these. Yes, yes, I do. I need the big ones for the furniture. That's what I was thinking of like today. Because, you know, I'm trying to do this kind of thing on you the furniture. In, oh, yeah. You get up in here with this, this little tool right here. And it just, <coughs> you ever get a tickle in your throat and wonder like it's like something flew in there and I know nothing did. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> so whenever we cough, well, yeah. And then my daughter yells Corona. <laughs> whenever anybody coughs. Yeah. <laughs> That's what mine does. Oh, Rona. Um, That's what the six-year-old is for. <laughs> um, evening. Been stalking while I ate. Hello, all. Lolly, Lolly, how are you, dear? Rebecca, I would love to see the painting of the cars. I vote for a Friday night live with moms. Oh, we need my mom on here. I just don't think she will, you guys. I'll keep saying that. And I just don't think my mom will do it. I uh, would be shocked. She she does come to workshops now when they're local, but even that took quite a, quite a convincing to get her there. She would be so fun. I've seen her on like live when you guys were dancing and stuff. Yeah. Um, is, is she going to be able to come to the retreat or? No. Is it, she just does the local stuff. She'll just do the local stuff. That might be a little bit too um, too long with a large crowd. Uh, but oh, girl's leaving for Mexico on Monday because that's where she likes to go. Yeah, that's she's, she's got her vacation with her friend, and they're hitting the hitting the airport on Monday morning. Good for her. Yeah, she's she uh, she's ready beyond ready. She canceled her last trip due to COVID. And she said she's not canceling this one. Yeah, I, I totally understand that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Llewellyn, you're coming to Waco, aren't you? I sure am. I'm so excited. Like, you have no idea. Um, I've gone to one other painting furniture sort of conference thing. And it was just those connections, you know, like the connections to the people there. It's like, it's crazy. Yeah, it'll be a wonderful time. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, um, Waco, I offered a retreat option to those in my creative connection about a year and a half ago. We started talking about it. Finally narrowed it down to where, because who doesn't want to go to Magnolia, right? Um, and so it's finally time for us to get to do it. And Llewellyn is actually coming and going to do a little demo for us at the retreat. So um, I'm just throwing her out to the wolves. Just booting her out there and saying, go, girl, get out there. Yeah, you are. I, I just can't believe you keep asking me to do things. I'm like, yeah, I just can't believe I get asked to do anything at all. So thank you for even thinking of me. You That's are how really I am. welcome. You know, I adore you. And um, yeah, we're going to have a we're going to have a great time. So in just a few days, a few couple of weeks, I will get to meet Llewellyn and hang out for a few days. 
Um, I'll make sure to measure your legs for my next painting. No, no, no. I don't want you to know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I want you to, I want you to think they're that skinny. That would be wonderful. <laughs> Just mess it. <laughs> I'm betting I'm not going to see anything different. Uh, <laughs> like, we're so tiny. <laughs> Lolly says, does anyone know? Oh, I missed your question. I want to know. I want to know. Um, oh, we're going to Magnolia. Oh, for sure. I've been a couple of times. Um, does anyone know? Is W2W in the journal for furniture or canvas? Warren to Whimsy. Yes. Oh. Oh, she's in there for your furniture is the feature. Oh, yeah. She wanted to know which one. Gotcha. Yes, it's for your furniture. I've never seen it W2W. I'm sorry. Oh, can I write it. See, I write it real quick and I just write it like that all the time. So I knew. <laughs> That's so cute. I was like, World War II. Did you see me? World War II. <laughs> That's not. Goodness gracious. No one, you know. Um, so, Lolly, Lolly, if you will click to the turquoisecyrusjournal.com right now. You will be able to see a little snippet of her feature right now. We kind of wanted to, to show you guys there was going to be um, a little sneak peek of what was going to be in there. I actually, right before I came on, I received the final rough draft from our editor. Mm -hmm. And I am blown away. And Matt actually read it and looked at me and he goes, I'm really impressed. And he goes, I have to ask you, what did you charge for this? And I said, $14.97 for one issue or $49.97 for four. And he was like, that's not enough. And I said, well, it's too late now, fancy pants. <laughs> it's too late now. Oh, but it's so good. Cammy did such a beautiful job. I am so proud of her. I told her, I said, if there's a award show for magazines we're in it to win it babe like we're this is so good so yeah i feel like you always win so it should it should for sure you put so much hard work in everything you do i just can't wait to see it and i have to say too like all of these podcasts because i've been listening i've tried to listen to all of them i think i have one that i haven't made it but they are there are some amazing women like some of them make me cry I'm telling you what I agree. And there's, I mean, I can't, I can't make that anything better than what it is. You know what I mean? Like the stories they bring to the table are what they are. I can't, I can't enhance that or make it prettier with graphics. Like the stories are real. And sure. we have um, April Kalanchik of the Sweet and Saucy Life. She's coming up next week. And she tells a story about being completely broke, husband, should have not walked away from an injury and her postpartum on her fourth child and talks about how um, her story began. And it is so inspiring. And I've actually met April and I adore her. I met her at Jennifer Allwood's house and she literally brought these cookies that I was looking at thinking, you've got to be kidding me. Those cannot be real. Like that's not edible. That would kill me if I eat that. Right. <laughs> but it was, it was all edible. Um, and then after that we have, um, oh, I have chair whimsy coming up. So Wendy's story is also one that where she started doing chairs and the way she kind of built her brand. And then I have Tracy's fancy from, um, or Tracy Bellion with Tracy's fancy. And uh, she uh, tells her story about, um, her autoimmune disorder that she was diagnosed with a few years ago and how it changed her world and her life. And then she's got a new group called fit 50 and fabulous uh where it's a it's a wellness group and so she tells some stories about that i'm telling you what it's an amazing it, lineup it's yeah a, it's an amazing lineup and it just goes on and on on from there so um i hope you guys will check it out if you're not already subscribed no worries you can still do that and um before you know it we'll be working on issue two and i can't wait to tell you who's on the cover of issue two i'm gonna let abby out hold on for sure i'm still just painting practicing with these knives. Oh, yay. All right. Can you show us a little bit of a close up of what you're doing right now, Luella? Sure. Um, I'm like, which way do I move? <laughs> which side do I move? It's probably easier to move the canvas. 
if I can do it. There we go. No problem. Thank you, Christy Lunsford. You're amazing. How about that? <laughs> I don't know if you can see it too well from the shine. I try to like, I, it's hmm. getting there. We're getting, I'm going to bring the sky back in a little bit so yep. that you see the clouds going up the sky. And same with, same with the other side. I haven't really done much on the other side yet. I was just kind of getting this, it's this perfect. middle part. It's perfect. Um, they said they love your clouds and um, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. Now, will you put beach up there on the bottom in your foreground? Yeah, I think I'm, I might do a little bit of beach, but I was going to try because on the piece um, and you're always one of my inspirations, like, you know how you do the big brass coming up? Well, I wanted to do some really dark ones on the piece. So I think I'll do the same on here and my water is going to be the color of the sky. So the water is going to have all of this, you know, lights and highlights added on there. I haven't even started. <laughs> we are just beginning. Yeah. And I'm about to go there. I'm about to book a flight and I'm about to go right there. And I'm going to be jealous when my mom sends me all her pictures, but so happy that she's getting to go. Um, Miss Dion is the best inspiration ever, isn't she? Gavin, I love you, buddy. I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for the nice words. Um, I want to show you guys real quickly, again, if you're just popping on, you can see this piece, but this is my inspiration. So if you can imagine this piece, artwork of mine, on the piece of furniture, that is where I'm kind of going with it. We're a long ways from being there, but you can see why the colors are, is that they are at the bottom with what's right here and then I will explode in the center with some flowers and greenery coming kind of up and then dripping down on the bottom and then wrapping it all the way around the sides this piece is really thick and chunky it's like 24 inches deep so I still have two more paintings on the sides of this piece so it's gonna it's gonna take a little while um but I wanted you all to meet my friend Llewellyn it's worn to whimsy so if you're not already following her please hop on over to her Instagram and her Facebook. You're going to want to go to the turquoiseirishjournal.com here in just a minute. You're going to want to go and see her feature, my feature, and Chair Whimsy's feature. It's just a little teaser, so if you're not subscribed, you can go ahead and do that now. And then the magazine will be out in seven days. How many fingers is that? Seven. Woohoo! I Yeah, I didn't even know about that sneak peek, so I'm going to have to go see it too. <laughs> you just surprised me with that too. I know it's kind of a surprise for everybody. And then um, Monday night, we will do the cover reveal, which is my own piece. And um, we're going to go live at 830. I've got champagne. We're going to post it. And so everybody can see the piece of furniture and just celebrate. Don't make me do it alone, guys. Come hang out with me and help me um, celebrate. Um, and then the podcasts every Thursday morning. We're featuring everybody that's being featured in the magazine. We're just kind of giving them an actual voice and not just words. Um, and the, all of the magazine journal will have a link to everybody's social media. Some people have videos. Um, some people have tutorials that you'd be able to click on. The, the um, flea market feature takes you to Brimfield and helps you learn everything you need to know about the, the famous Brimfield antique market. Um, so that's super exciting for that as well. Uh, thank you, Derek. Thank you. It's the turquoiseirisjournal.com is where you'll be able to see the featured articles. Um, so go to the journal website. And I think that's about it, sister. I think I should let you go have dinner. Um, thank you for joining me tonight for Friday Night Live. Um, your work is beautiful. And you guys tune in to watch her. She's doing quite a bit of lives and painting for you. And she has a specialty of doing water. Yeah, I love water. <laughs> I just want to live there. So that's why. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Karen Brown, the first issue is 72 pages. Um, we had a goal of 60. We have a, just a few advertisements in there. And then we didn't want to load it up with just advertisements. Um, but we have 72 pages. So it may be it may be one or two more. But for right now, 72 is pretty solid. Uh, so that's we're all it's a lot. It's a lot of good content. Um, for everybody, have a great weekend. Tomorrow night, um, Anissa Perry will be joining me at 830 Central Time. She's going to show you the finished painting that we did together as a collaboration for the Spread Love. And um, it's already been sold to Mr. and Mrs. Pixie. Um, and then the funds, proceeds from that are going directly to someone who's extremely deserving, a friend of Anissa and I, 
um, but someone that we both know and um, we are helping her with um, medical bills and such. So how do we get the magazine? Lauren, you go to the turquoiseirisjournal.com and you can subscribe there. Right now, um, you get a full year at a discount if you go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I think that's it, Llewellyn. Thank you so much, sister. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And thank you, everybody. I'll be going back through the comments too. make sure if there's any questions. Yeah. Just let me know. <laughs> let me know. And if you're watching this on the replay, let us know too. Let us know where you are and where you're from um, and go, go follow Warren to Whimsy, everybody. Y'all have a great night and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Love.